Hey, slap your butt. If you're at home and you can, slap your butt. It feels good. Don't do it too hard. Anyway, I'm back. This is a hint as to what's coming up. Uh, you'll figure it out, or you'll just wait till next week because, you know, you're patient, unlike me. Anyway, guess what we're doing today? <laughs> we're doing the most bachelor thing on the planet. We're making candles. Cooking for one has never been so fun. If you don't know what to make, it's never too late. The bachelor's fridge is kicking out the jet. Jellies. I know you're thinking, not bachelor at all. That is as unbachelor AF as you can get. Is that an AF? It, it kind of checks out. Anyway, um, yes, however, wait till you see these candles. Then you'll be like, oh, I get it. Anyway, Diana's going to show up. You remember her from Roll the Clip? Do you know what the difference between jam and jelly is? I do. Oh. What is it? Jam uses the entire fruit. And the juice, whereas jelly just uses the like the juice and the pectin. Wrong. I can't jelly my foot up your ass. <laughs> That's right. She was in the Friends Trifold video. She's back. I hear she's quite the accomplished cat. I hear she's quite the accomplished candle maker. Get through it, Dustin. Use your words. And so she's gonna try and guess the scents and the overall theme of the candle I made. Let's, ha let's do a little fun uh, experiment for you guys, too, at home. I'm going to reveal the scents to you, but I won't tell you the theme until I actually pour them in here. I dropped it. I dropped this. This is pink. It doesn't look pink. I'm assured that it's going to look pink later. Anyway, let's dive into some of these scents that I picked up here and see if you can figure them out. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. First, we're going to go with masculine musk, sea salt, and fishing pier. See if you can guess the theme on that one. Next, we're gonna go with uh, sawdust, caramel butterscotch, bourbon, and we're gonna bring back masculine musk. See if you can guess that one. Yeah, now we're getting to starting to get a little wacky. We got uh, check it out. We got basement. I haven't smelled these, by the way, so we're going to experience them together when I crack them open. We got basement, light beer, and vomit. What do you think? Lastly, I'm most proud of coming up with this one. I think it's going to be awesome or disgusting. Who knows? We got cotton candy, champagne, and tobacco. <laughs> that one's going to be great. All right. So, uh, I got some candles to make, got some wax to chop up, got some uh, candle holders, uh, I got my wicks, I got this guy, remember this centers your wick, anyway, yeah, we're going to start making some candles. Today, I was inspired to make candles by, I have a list of YouTube heroes, by the way, Rob Zar, obviously, he's like my mentor, he's the coolest dude. Just thank you a million times over. But I got some others who I'm like, yeah, that's dope, and I wish I could be like that. Uh, Hannah Hart obviously is amazing, but Sophia Nygaard, if you don't watch Sophia, she's, she does some crazy stuff. It's fun. She makes a lot of candles, and I've seen her buy like every candle from the candle store, which escapes me, and make them all into one, and make like other candles and whatever. I'm like, dude, I could do that. I can make candles. I'm going to start chopping some... Broccoli. Chopping broccoli. All right. So this is premium wax. You know, uh, when you wax your surfboard, it's called sex wax. I think that was just to sell the wax because they're like, oh, let's call it. That'd be controversial. Let's call it sex wax. I had a boogie board when I was a kid growing up in California. I grew up in California. Did you know that? Yeah. Um, you're going to find that out next week. Anyway, I did. I didn't have any sex wax though. My mom wouldn't let me have sex wax. A few moments later. Um, let's get a rough idea of how much wax we're gonna need per candle. Rough. It's like a rocks glass. Cheers. Shaken, not stirred. Here's the thing. 
It's never stirred. It's never stirred. It's always shaking. That seems like a... And then a couple more for good measure. Wix. Wix. Wix.com. Not, not a sponsor. If you're watching this video, Wix.com, I could use about a thousand bucks. Then I would talk about the benefits of your uh, web platform. I would tell everyone that Wix.com is a online platform that's great for uh, marketing your business and uh, all their pre-made templates make it e quick and easy. In today's climate, you can't afford not to be online with Wix. We're back and our wax is Melvin Theodore. That's Mel Ted for you who's not in the know. We're going to add in our brown. This one's going to be brown. Just got a little bit of brown. Let's see what it does. Ooh, that's starting to look like root beer. What do you think? Root beer consistency. I'm told that it's going to um, dry a little less dark than it actually is right now. But that's pretty brown. Diarrhea brown. True story. A friend of mine in college and I were going to write a series of children's mystery novels called Diarrhea Brown. Anyway, what do you think? Would you read Diary of Brown to your kids? Let me know in the comments. Okay, this is the guessing part. What's the theme? I'm gonna open them now. First time smelling them. Sawdust. Weird. Just a splashy splash. That's pretty good. All right, here we go. Oh, snap! That is like a bag of Werther's right in your face. That is, that smells real. Just a little bit, huh? Masculine musk. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, that smells like cheap cologne, like from Sears in the 1980s. Yeah. All right. So in case you haven't guessed the theme of this candle, we got masculine musk, we got butterscotch, and we got sawdust. I'm calling this one 1980s Grandpa. All right, Grandpa, I'm coming for you. Oh dang, yeah, pretty good. Almost to the top, then we'll do. And we put our set wick center on there. All right, our second batch is Melvin Theodore. We're gonna get our color this time, which is blue. Today's color is blue. Playing along at home, let's see if we can guess. We got sea salt. Yeah, kind of like the foam on the top of the ocean. Have you been to the ocean? It's like the foam on the top of the ocean, maybe. Ooh, that was a lot. We got fishing pier. Here's the first one I'm really worried about. Hmm. That... <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's a little like guts. I'm gonna go heavy on the fishing pier. Bringing back by popular demand the masculine musk, which still I think smells the best so far. Ooh, that was a lot. That was an awful lot, so we gotta even it out with a little more fishing pier and some sea salt. Anyway, masculine musk fishing pier, masculine musk. Ooh, too hot. Masculine musk fishing pier and sea salt is Sea Captain. You guessed it. You heard it here first. Down the hatch. Get it? Ha ha. Ooh, she's pretty. She's a beaut, Clark. Um, this one is going to be orange. It looks red now, but it's going to be orange. Let's get the GoPro. Who's your favorite redhead? Let me know in the comments. Pippi Longstocking or the Wendy's girl? I prefer Carrot Top myself. Not for his uh, comedy, no, but for his stunning physique. That dude is ripped. Have you seen Carrot Top? He is freaking jacked. Oh my goodness. Carrot Top is jizz act. I'm not going to say jizz act. Jizz act is something you do in the privacy of your own home. He's just jacked. If it pleases the court, I'd like to present some evidence regarding the jizz act. All right. Basement. Ooh, this. Okay, for one, none of the other ones had a protective seal on them. For two, it, kind of, it smells, it does, okay. Have you ever been down to a basement that's like clearly moldy and mildewy? That's. It also smells like menthol cigarettes. Or like that pine tree air freshener. But I could definitely see where it smells like a moldy basement. Musty. Light beer. 
Very light beer, dude. This is like Bud Select 55. Very light beer. I don't know. And the second one I'm really concerned about. The last one I was really concerned about didn't smell that bad. This is Vomit. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's Vomit. That's, that's Chunks. Smells like vomit. Okay, it's every time you smell it, it smells different. That time it smelled like Smarties and old couch. Ugh, ah, that time it smells like old cheese. Ooh. Oh, you know the bile taste you get in your mouth when you've puked so much, the only thing coming up is bile? That's kind of what it smells like now, that, that smell slash taste. Ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that one was weird. That was like dirty mop water. All right, vomit. Going in. It's not vomit, is it? All right, so we got basement, basement, light beer and vomit. What do you think? Any guesses? If you guess fraternity party, you are correct. That is my frat party candle. All right, there she is. That is. A vibrant green. That's not green. That's not a green. <laughs> that is a vibrant orange. It's a. I'm not colorblind even. I'm just daft. We're back from Meltad for the final chapter of Melvin Theodore. Right now it's very red. Okay, but it's gonna die. It's gonna. I'm not gonna put a lot in because it's going to uh, dry lighter than that. I'm told. Okay, this one. Three cents going in. Let's do, hmm, tobacco. Uh, maybe it's like, is it that? Yeah, I guess it's more like pipe tobacco. Is there such thing as menthol pipe tobacco? I don't know. Tobacco. Ooh, that one, the other ones have been clear too, and this one's got a little tinge to it. Tobacco, oh my goodness. Oh, there. Oh, oh, God, that was it. Oh, you can smell it in there, dude. It smelled like unfiltered cigarettes. Like, oh. We got champagne. We got champagne. Oh, that smells great. Oh, man, that is great. Ooh, that's a lot, though. And cotton candy. Cotton candy. It's very subtle, but it's there. So we got cotton candy, tobacco, and champagne. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Did you guess strip club? Leather. Tuscadero. Here we go. Adult. Club. Candle. Yeah. All right, into the fridge. Bye, see ya. Bring me back some French. Later. We're back. It's been, we've had enough time for the candles to set up. I've changed a little. I got my, uh, Oh, you look all official. My bachelor's fridge apron that my friend Stephanie got me for my birthday. Remember when we were hanging out on my birthday and we burnt KFC scented logs? Used for an extra crispy fire. Yeah, it was a good time. Remember Diana? She's back. Hello. Um, as previously mentioned, we made, uh, a trifle together. How was it? It actually was not as disgusting as we thought. We all sat in there eating and eating and then we were all going, I can't believe we're still eating this. That's true, I'm gonna drop in that footage right now. Yeah, um, the banana and beef is good, the peas and pudding is good. My buddy Joe, Joe and Diana are a thing. Um, he was saying, oh yeah, Diana makes candles. She's good at it. She's, and I'm like, whoa, poo -ah, poo -poo -poo. just brain turn and turn and turn. Guess what I need to have here to try out my candles? Try and guess what. Because each one has um, three cents in it, and then there's an overall theme for each candle. There's four candles. I'm going to bring them out one at a time. All right. And um, let's get started with the first one. Okay. Yeah. It smells a little bit. Now, this one actually doesn't smell badly. It smells a little bit like chocolate. Oh, yeah? Get a little bit more. Yeah. Get the scent. So I yeah, get the scent. That oil. That. That. Ooh, that was a good luck. Is it supposed to be like French onion soup? No, ooh, that's a good guess. 
Uh, it, no, it just smells like chocolate and onions. That's it? Chocolate covered onions. We got sawdust. Oh, okay. <laughs> sawdust. It actually doesn't sound bad. Well, in and of itself, that's actually not bad. We got masculine musk. Mm. That might have been the oniony smell I was Oh, yeah? Picking masculine up. musk. Give her a whiff. Caramel butterscotch bourbon. Okay. Now, see, that should be actually good. It's great. Yeah, like that in and of itself would be fabulous. Yeah. That so, would be a great candle. I can sell a ton. Now that you know what the scents are, what do you think the overall theme is? I got sawdust, I got manly man, and I got caramel. I'm going to say like Dean Martin. Like, I, that's pretty close. I'm going like, to count it. I'm going to count it. He was like the crooners, like the old, you know, I, rat yeah, pack. I'm, so I'm calling this one uh, 1980s grandpa. Oh my God. You remember the Wilford Brimley commercials yes. for Werther's Originals? Werther's Originals. Yeah. Yes, and that's actually kind of like that's what this smells yeah. like. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's you know, totally. And then Grandpa's out in the garage uh -huh. and he's doing he's manly and making some. That's crap. actually good. I yeah? like that. That okay. actually works for that candle. Yeah. Number two. All right. Oh. Okay. Here's here's the candle. Let me okay. get that. Let me bring over the. Oh shoot. No, 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 no. Now that actually smells kind of decent. We got a winner here. Okay, so it has sort of a coastal fragrance, Ooh. like a like a waterway. It's got Ooh. like water notes. Oh, dang. Sea salt, like sea oh. breeze notes. Ooh. Is there any funky smells in there? I don't actually smell anything funky uh -huh. right there. I I'm going to say. Some sort of, oh, there's all kinds of different things like ocean scent or sea breeze. Yeah, okay. And then clean yeah. linen. Okay. And then I would say, there's, it's very salty. So like maybe, I don't know, sea salt. Okay. If there was a job title that went along with it, what would the job title be? Mm. Oceanographer. Oceanographer. Official guess? Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. Masculine Musk is back. Oh, Masculine Musk is back again. Masculine Musk is back. We got uh, sea salt. Sea salt. Oh. <laughs> I got the sea salt. And fishing pier. <laughs> Would you believe that it is uh, supposed to be sea captain? Is sea captain is very close. Yeah. I could see a sea captain smell like that. Yeah. Yeah. Give the fishing pier. <laughs> okay. Wait. Do I? Is this going to be like sardines? Once I like once you burn it, maybe the sardine smell comes out. Oh, uh, 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 uh. oh my god. <laughs> that literally smells like rotten fish. Uh-huh. Now you Okay, we officially now call this coastal chum. This <laughs> one is a trip and a half. That last one actually wasn't bad. Let's oh, check out the color. Well, it's my favorite color. Is it your anyway. favorite color? I do like this color. Okay. I do like the color. Neat. You know, if at home, you guys know what this one is. It kind of smells like a pair of bike shorts. <laughs> that a dude rode for a century. Yeah. In maybe like 90 degree weather. Uh -huh. And then yeah. came home and said, honey, what do these smell like? Oh, I don't, <coughs> I don't care for it either. It's like rotten fruit. Pull on that thread. Pull on that thread. Yeah. And like scraps, like compost, yep. like yep. some kind yep. of food oh. scraps. Oh. It's like oh. it's like grapefruit plus grapefruit plus food scraps. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe all blended up together. Yeah. Is this is like yeah. grapefruit and beef stew or something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And the overall theme for that would be what? What's the candle mm. called? What do we call on this one? Joe's bike shorts. Joe's bike shorts. Nice. Mm. Well, would you believe that? Oh, that's literally making my eyes water. Light oh my beer. God. Okay. <laughs> There's light beer. Okay, beer. Maybe that's the kind of fermented. Yeah. Basement. Basement. <laughs> Basement. Basement beer. Oh, this is man cave. And well, and vomit. And vomit. There you go. I knew I smelled something rancid in all that. This yeah. Basement. Fear and vomit. That just reminds me of Junior Brothers. We're calling this fraternity party. <laughs> frat party. Good. Frat party. <laughs> frat party. That frat works. party for sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> frat party definitely works. Yeah, Junior Brothers frat party. 
<laughs> Same vibes? Yeah. Okay. Very deep strawberry pink. Strawberry pink. We're going to turn strawberry. it that way so you Let's can't see it. warm it so I can see yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the best way to get the fragrance. I know what it is, so it's pretty exciting. No? It's like at first you get a hit of something fruity, yeah. and then it comes off of something else. Yeah, it sure does. And then I'm like, what is it? It definitely that? comes off. You know, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean, it definitely comes off. Three ingredients. Yeah, some of them. It smells like cherry. Mm -hmm. Definitely smells like something else that's kind of mm -hmm. musty, moldy. Okay. Moldy laundry. Cherry mold and... Cherry mold and... I laundry detergent? Yeah. Okay. Laundry detergent. And what's the overall theme that you think cherry moldy laundry detergent is? Prostitution. Wow! <laughs> Dang! So, let's just let's jump right into it. So we have tobacco. Tobacco, okay. Yeah. We have cotton candy. Cotton candy, that's probably what I was smelling. And we have champagne. Okay, and champagne would be the fruitier. Yeah. Okay, and so... The theme of this. Yeah. Poor house. I'm gonna give it to you. Ding 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 I ding. Did. Gentlemen's club. Yeah, gentlemen's club. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, strip club. Strip club. There yeah. you go. Oh, that was incredible. Wow. Yeah. Which one would you try? What other things should I do? What candles should I make? What candles should Diana make? Should Diana have her own YouTube channel? What do you think about that? She said she wants to fool around with it, maybe. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would you watch? If you would, I'll put links. If she ever does, I'll put links. Um, anyway, that's about that. We are going to say goodbye, Carol. I assume there's someone named Carol out there. We'll see you later. Hopefully. Bye, Carol.